Hey all, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today I'm gonna to show you how to update your Trezor One. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. And today I'm enjoying this amazing Merlot. It is the Sterling Vintners Collection. It's their Merlot, like I said. Um, it is not as full bodied, uh, a little toned down compared to their Cabernet, but it also has some earth tones to it. Maybe a little more plum as well in terms of the uh, tasting notes. So um, if you enjoy Merlot, go ahead and try this Sterling that's out there. And um, now back to the video. Ah. Good stuff. All right, so what you're gonna do here, before we go any farther forward, I did this in my other video for the Model T, but I always wanna make sure I do it for every video. Go to Trezor's website, okay? And make sure if you haven't downloaded their Trezor Suite yet, or Trezor Suite, I should say, do it now, go to their website, don't click on a malicious email and do it from there. Don't click on Discord links, don't click on links on Facebook. Come to Trezor's website, click on suite, download the particular app for whatever platform you're using, whether it's Windows or it's Linux or Mac, do it there, download it that way to protect yourself, okay? One other thing I wanted to mention too, before you go out and buy a Trezor, okay, make sure that you can actually handle the different crypto assets that you want to protect and put on your Trezor, okay? So what you wanna do is just come to the website, click on where it says that 1,000 plus or more, click there, and then you can start typing in what you're looking for. So if you're into Ripple, okay? It says right there, only the tre Trezor Model T can be done through Trezor Suite or Exodus, okay? Or if let's see now, I'm big into Cardano, same thing here, Model T. Okay, so what about uh, Ethereum? Okay, that's big right now with the merge coming up in September. Uh, you can see, okay, both is supported here through the Trezor Suite. Uh, but Tether is not, no wallet yet. So just keep that in mind, okay? You may see other things here like my crypto, those are, or my Ether wallet. Those are third party wallets that you can use your Trezor hardware wallet um, as an added layer of security when logging in, okay? So just keep that. I'm not gonna go deep into how it works, but I'm just letting you know, please do your research here. I don't want you being like some of the people that comment on my video, videos saying, hey, Trezor was a joke because it doesn't take care of one, two, and three crypto assets that I have in my portfolio. It's like, well, do your research first before you buy your product, okay? So just make sure to do that. All right, so now that you've done that, let's go ahead and pull up the Trezor suite. And if you've already had it installed on your computer and you see a banner that pops up here, it might say, hey, there's a new software available, new version. Update that software before updating your firmware. Do that first, but mine is up to date. Go ahead and plug in your Trezor One. You're going to see a little icon there and whatever screen decide to determine. All right, so now it's asking for your four digit pin. All right, so I'm not gonna show you what numbers I'm selecting, but based on what I can see here, and then I have dots on my desktop, I'm going to click those dots depending on what I see here on the Trezor One, okay? So you're gonna be selecting those dots based on the, the placement that it is on the screen here, okay? Hopefully that's not too confusing for you. All right, go ahead and enter PIN. It's waking up. Boom, there we go. And then it, as you can see, it's updating my transactions that are on the blockchain. It found some that I did for other past videos on this particular uh, Trezor One. You're gonna see at the top here, new Trezor firmware is available. Please update your device. And this is what I wanna show you. Come on over to update now, okay? You're gonna see that, oh, your current version is 1.10.5. There is 1.11.2. Go ahead and update the firmware. Okay, we're clicking update. You always wanna make sure that your 24 keyword seed phrase is backed up and on your pieces of paper. Don't ever lose those, okay? Because that allows you to recover your crypto assets. Let's say this bad boy gets stolen or gets broken or you lose it, whatever happens, you can put your crypto assets, your wallets or accounts as you wanna call them onto a new Trezor One or Model T through those 24 keyword seed phrase, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's do continue. 
All right, so now it's gonna say right here, do you want to restart device in bootloader mode? And you're gonna see that right there, pretty easy and simple. You're gonna click yes for confirm, click it, okay. So now showing I'm in bootloader mode, okay. Some people get stuck at this section here, okay. Hopefully you don't, if you do, unplug it, plug it back in, see if that fixes, fixes it for you, okay. But right where we're at, let's go ahead and do install firmware, okay. See, they got that on the screen there. It says, never do this without your recovery card. Continue. So let's do the continue button there if you guys can see it. Boom. Clicked it. Okay. So now it is preparing. Please wait. There we go. All right. And now it is updating, as you can see on the desktop as well. It is installing everything here. All right. And it is complete here. It says, new firm successfully installed. So now it is rebooting here. Okay. And you're going to see that there. It says update finished successfully. Please reconnect the device. So once you're at this stage here, go ahead and unplug it. All right. So now it goes blank. Let's go ahead and plug that bad boy back in. All right. There we go. It's... All right. And then we're going to see on the desktop, it says close. We'll go ahead and close it. There we go. And we're now back at the pin screen with the numbers. So go ahead and select those four numbers that is assigned to your pin and we'll go forward from there. Go ahead and enter pin. Waking up, boom, same background screen there. And it's updating here with my transactions. Fantastic, there you go. And so that is how you update your Trezor One. If you're curious about what version you're on or if you're on the proper software for your Trezor Suite, go on and over to the gear icon, scroll on down to where you say you see Suite version 22.8.2. You can always check for updates. I'll say, all right, no new updates available. Perfect, there we go. We are up to date. Come on over to device. Then scroll on down to version. I'm on 1.11.2. I can click up to date and it'll show me, yep, I'm up to date. If I wanted to reinstall the firmware, I could just do it right there. If say I was having issues for whatever reason, just click on install firmware and go through the same steps all over again. All right, guys, well, that is how you update your Trezor One. Hopefully you, this was valuable to you. If it was, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll do my best to help you out with any issues you may have. But until next time, I'll see you when I see you.